Hi YouTube, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to paint your own custom pop figure toy. Um, I picked this one up from a car boot, so I didn't pay much for it. It's all beaten up and it's a, a Luke Skywalker from Star Wars. And I'm going to transform this into a Venom from Marvel. So first off, we're going to probably need to sand, sand the toy down with some sandpaper. So I found this in the attic. Uh, it's an assortment of sandpaper. We'll probably choose the finest grit sandpaper from the pack. Or we've got this sort of wire sandpaper here type thing. Just giving it a light sand just all around around the plastic so that it just roughs up the surface and the spray paint will be able to stick to it properly. So once you're done sanding you want to cast your eye over the toy and just make sure there's no smooth surfaces it wants to be all keyed up so that the um, spray paint takes a proper grip to the plastic. Just another extra precaution you might want to get some acetone or some nail polish remover and just give your toy a wipe down before you spray it just to get the loose particles of plastic off. So I'll just take this toy and put it down in my makeshift spray booth. Once we're in lockdown, pop that on there. Give the can a shake, give it a test. So we're going to go with black because I'm going to be doing a Venom custom. Just want to lightly spray. Ideally, it'd be good to have like a rotating platform and then you can turn it around, but we're just going to have to use our hands. Yeah, so I'm using this box to turn the toy upside down so I could hit the underneath sides. So I've sprayed the whole figure black, even coat of black all over. I'm going to use the heat gun just to make sure it cures properly and then I'm going to use a paintbrush and some Posca pens to colour in my Venom character. So I'm going to use this Posca to outline with and then use the paintbrushes to um, in with.
So I'm going to tighten up the white lines with some black. So I'm going to use this black Posca and just neaten it up and then I will apply some acrylic paint on top. Next I'm going to use some acrylic paint, just use a paintbrush to strengthen the white on the Venom logo. So I've got the logo done and I'm going to start doing the eyes for Venom now and I'm taking inspiration from the pop toy that was released so the eyes are going to be based on the eyes on the pop toy that they've officially released. I'm going to try some Angelus Direct leather paint as it might be a bit smoother than the acrylic that I've been using. Yeah, so I've started drawing the teeth on and the tongue with uh, Posca. So I'm just putting in a wiggly tongue down the side and I'm doing the teeth individually with the Posca white. So I'm sort of just drawing them on. So what I'm doing now is I'm just going around the teeth with the black, cutting them back and making them look sharper, pointier. It's quite fiddly but you can see in comparison this side to that side it just sort of makes them look a little bit more neater.
Right, so Lily's here. She's decided she's going to do another superhero. So she's going to have a go. What superhero are you going to do, Lil? I'm doing Hulk. You can do a Hulk. That's a good choice. So we're going to use this green here and spray it on our little spray booth. Right, so put it down then, Lil. Lily's got her PPE on and she's ready to go. There you go, give it a little tester on there. Right, and just spray spray both sides. Stand stand up, stand up. Just bend over like that and spray. Lightly. Okay. And turn it like that so you can do both sides now. Come around this side, that's too close. Getting too much on there. Hold it further back, Lil. Further back. Cool. So we've come to the end of the video. Here's my custom painted Venom toy. It turned out pretty nice. And here's the one that my daughter painted. This is her Hulk. Obviously I helped her out a little bit. Just gave it a few finishing touches. Brought it up to a decent level. So let me know what you think of these two custom toys that we, we painted. Are you going to give it a go at home? I used Angelus Direct Leather Paints, which is the same as acrylics. They're just a little bit smoother. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'm doing free colouring print-offs if you share my video and you're a subscriber so get in touch